What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking a little bit about the DJI Osmo Action 4. Brand new action camera on the market, and most Moto vloggers will probably have a GoPro Hero 10 or 11. Well, I think this camera is better. I think it's got more options, and I think it's a better option for your helmet. So this video, I'm going to quickly unbox it, then I'll let you know why I think this is poised to take over for the GoPro action cameras. So while we get this out the box, uh, this is the standard combo. So this retails at $399, but they do have uh, action adventure combo, cycling combo, diving combo. Um, they also have a surfing combo. So depending what accessories you want, you can go ahead and pick up uh, that particular package. Uh, $399 for the standard. Uh, the adventure is $499. Cycling is $478. Diving is $478. And the Serpent combo is 418. So in the box, you're gonna have the camera, you're gonna have some accessories. You can see there we have a USB-C to USB-C. Standard with DJI products, probably about three feet tall. They do have fastening screws for your adapters. I like how everything, all the accessories are in the package, in the actual case itself. Just makes it a lot easier to deal with. So we do have a quick start guide there as well. We have some DJI stickers, some safety information, and um, here's the case right there. And I, I love that this is included in the package, but it's not necessarily needed. All right, so stuffed with a bunch of um, accessories again. All right, so there's the case. I love the case. The case does have the opening, so you can slide it open and still plug in your charger. Looking at the quick shift button right there, which takes you through different modes. You have the record button, and you do have a vertical mount, and I'll show you how that works. Case is just open slightly. You slide the camera in, and then you go ahead and close it. We also have a standard um, mount. Uh, this is going to be a 3M mount, so you can stick it to your helmet or whatever else uh, you feel. And we have this accessory which makes this a game changer in my opinion this is the actual magnetic fastener the magnetic adapter and i'll show you how that all works here in a little bit we have the battery all right so it comes with one battery so you're gonna have to slide this in And we do have another lens cap, and I, I got to do some more research and see what this is. I'm guessing this is just an ND filter, uh, some gaskets for it just in case. But uh, I'll do some more research and let you know what I find out. Here's the camera itself. Nice feel, nice look. Uh, just a quick walk around. You see the quick shift button, release door, microphones, record button, another door for the battery. Uh, we do have microphones in the Action 4 at the bottom right there as well. Um, so front facing screen as well as rear facing screen. And this is DJI is the first one to actually do that. So here's your battery compartment slash your SD card slot. Um, slides in right next to the battery. All right, so on this side, we're going to have the USB-C. And that door actually pops right off so you can uh, mount your accessories. But USB-C and what this C allows you to do is essentially hook up your microphone directly. No need to have a media mod. All you need is a USB-C, the 3.5 millimeter uh, TSS adapter, I believe, and you should be good to go. So installing the battery, pretty straightforward. Slide the SD card in first. Slide the battery in. Slap the door. Then you're all set. All right. So we do have a mount on the bottom. Um, so with this, with the mount and the case, so you'll be able to mount this camera vertically and horizontally. But if you're only doing your horizontal recording, uh, you can just uh, bypass the case. You don't really need it. But the case does provide some protection. And like I said, it allows you to mount vertically. So if you're doing a lot of IG or YouTube shorts, you can vote it um, vertically, which I like. So. Here's a magnetic adapter. First of all, it is magnetic, so just put it and it will suck in. It 
does have two tabs on the side. All you got to do is make sure those are secured. Push them in and you're all set to release it. Just press one of the sides, both of the sides, and pull it right off. Um, and this, in my opinion, is a game changer because we know that with the GoPro, you have to use the screw in. And sometimes that's just a pain. But this is just a better option. And that's why I chose to pick this up to mount it on my helmet. So setup's pretty straightforward. You don't necessarily need to do any registration. Just uh, click it, your language. Um, you can skip this for now, but I did go ahead off camera and set up the application, which allows you to do some cool things as well. Quick tutorial. And you can see that's it. Camera's ready to go. Front facing camera's ready to go. And there's so many features built in. Probably do some follow up videos just letting you guys know how um, well this camera is working. So the cool thing about this is that if you already have a helmet mount or a chin mount for your helmet that you're using with the GoPro, you don't necessarily need to take it off. All you need to do is pull it out and you slide in uh, the adapter and screw it on with the DJI magnetic adapter. Pretty easy installation. You can see I chose to use the case for this demo, but like I said, if you're doing just horizontal videos, you don't necessarily need the case on. Um, but if you're switching back and forth, it might be a good idea. Or if you fear that your camera might fall, um, that option is there for you. So again, just slide it on, uh, make sure the clips are in, and just releasing it, press both sides, and you're all set. Of course, you're going to need to plug in a USB for the microphone, especially if you do voiceover, but that's another thing in itself. And I do a follow-up video just showing you how I have my uh, recording or vlogging set up for this camera as well. So while I go through the different options here, just a couple things, three main reasons why I decided to ditch the GoPro and go with the Osmo Action 4 is one, I love the option for the quick releases on the mount. So just the fact that I can easily push both tabs, flip it either horizontal or vertically. I love that it's easy to go from one option to another. The other thing, I've had a lot of issues with GoPros. Um, either that they are getting stuck where you have to pull out the battery, um, overheating or whatever the case is. I just know that the GoPro is not reliable. When you press record, you have to verify that you are recording or else you're not gonna have any footage when it's all said and done. So that's my second reason. My third reason is the battery on the GoPro is horrible. Even the extended battery that I bought, the gray battery, battery life is terrible. And I think just having a media mod on there as well drains the batteries even more. So GoPro, in my opinion, is unreliable, freezes up, battery life sucks, and just a quick release system on the DJI just makes it a lot better. So I'll do some follow-up videos on this. I do have some uh, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapters coming so I can complete the vlog setup, but I did do a test and it seems to be working fine. And I'll show you the full setup when it's all said and done. In the meantime, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.